Okay, once you've removed the peg from the sitar, you want to uh, put more chalk on there to uh, aid in the turning and also rough up any areas that have become burnished from turning in this uh, hole in the sitar. The sitar peg uh, makes contact with the sitar just at about um, a little less than three quarters of an inch on the peg head side and a slight a bit on the tip side, which is just a guide hole. You don't want it to really grip in that part of the hole. So once you have the peg out, the idea is to check it out and make sure that there's no shiny spots. If there's shiny spots, you want to use a file. This is a little, um, just a wood file, and lightly rough up anywhere that's been burnished by turning in the holes of the sitar. Uh, you don't want to push too hard because you don't want to change the shape of the peg. We're assuming your peg is a decent working peg to start with. So just rough up any, any shiny areas. And then using some sidewalk chalk, this is non-wax chalk, dry chalk, just chalk the areas where you can see where it's been marked from contacting the instrument. So a little bit on your peg head side, and just a slight bit on the tip side. 